lovelies, and welcome to the second video on raising pagan kids. This week's video is going to be based on crafts that you can do for Beltane uh, with your children of all ages. And we're going to start with the altar version of the maypole. It's an altar version. You can find various ones online on how to make them. You can buy them, but it's more fun with the kids and whatever. Um, so, as you see, I have four different colors that I used. Each one has a different meaning. One is about like what you want to put out for yourself, one for your family and close friends, one for your community, and then one for the world. I, you don't have to do it that way. You can do various colors. Uh, I also have little jewels here and feathers. You don't have to do that. I also have some dried flowers because I dry flowers for my products and stuff. And I just took a couple um, and put them on top. And voila. You have a nice little maypole for on the altar, on the kid's altar. I also put... Uh, we also put some blue paint on here as you can see that was my toddler's toy for that so um, I will quick show you a little bit about the um, maple so all right first like I said you don't need the feathers you don't need the little gemstones or the flowers but you can decorate them however you want you could put um, a floral wreath that you and your child make um, around it. You could do a lot of various things. You can be very creative with these. So first, what you need is um, a six inch piece of wood. It's best to go and find it out in nature, but if you don't have the ability to, or you can't find one that's about one inch or a little less or a little big in diameter, then, you know, you can always go to a hardware store and find something instead. But at least, but this way it's directly connected to nature. So, here is the spare one. I would say like six inches to a foot, um, depend, depending on how big you want to make it, how much space you have on your, um, your altar or your kid's altar, depending on where you want to place it. Um... You could also put glitter on it. I did, was thinking about putting glitter on it, but it was it would have been too much of a mess since my daughter is just about two years old. So um, for the older children, um, adding glitter might be a nice little thing too if you want to do that. So then um, at any craft store, you can find, and you can probably find these out in the woods too if you look hard enough, but they might not be as nice. Um, at any craft store, you can find little circle pieces of wood. Um, and then you need a hot glue gun. If you don't want to spend money on a hot glue gun or don't already have one, super glue or wood glue might work, but I don't know how well it will hold up. And then you put that on here. And then you need four different colors that are spring-like. We got um, purple, a uh, light blue, um, pink, the, a glittery pink, and then a green. Um, so here's like the purple. And what you do once those are glued is cut about two feet or longer, depending on how big this is. For mine, which is about seven, eight inches, I cut about yet a little over two feet um it doesn't have to be you just kind of want it to flow off onto the surface so as long as both once you do this both sides are kind of going off perfect um if you do use like smaller ones like with my green you can take the scissor and like kind of curl them um to give a nice little edge to it with the flow which i did and that's the basis of it. You just get this and then you get those. But of course, you're going to want to add something for nature, something that signifies um, the feminine 
energy or fertility or something that has to do with belting and that's why I have like the flowers and then like the feathers of nature and putting them in spring colors so you can decorate however you want and then other thing that you can do um, that was very easy for me to do with how young my daughter is we both have matching ones of these uh, is braid or weave with you can use the same lace as you used for that or you can get other lace um, some people say to just make it white so you can make them white you can make them however and you braid or weave so you need at least three pieces and make these really quick bracelets for Beltane you can also make floral crowns there's so many different <laughs> ones to make and I plan on making them but I'm going to be making them on Beltane as something to do with my daughter and then for us to wear um, and then we're also going to be making uh, fairy wands and or fairy wands we're going to be making wands and then fairy bell rings so you get like a piece of wood that is round and cut out or you could get um like cardboard it really depends on your particular needs you could even get plastic but again that's not really as connected to nature get more lace get some bells and i'll put some links below um there's this really awesome pinterest site that I found when I was looking for fit crafts to do with my daughter so I'll put that below and we're also going to be making um, just ribbon wands and more of the like not well some people they're calling them wands but you know wind wands so it's basically the same as like the fairy bell ones I was talking about where you get the circle and you can actually like get um, pieces of thin bark or something to just weave and make like a crown type thing like you're going to do when you make your crown and then attach lace or weave or braid lace to them there's so many different things like I said I'm gonna put a Pinterest below that I found that has so many ideas um the my favorite is going to definitely be the floral crowns. Obviously, this is not real. This is just a headband thing, and that's why it's worn as a headband right now. But I wore it to kind of create the image for this video. Uh, other things that you can do is just weaving various types of jewelry in general with your kid. And there's, like, if you take daisies and do the daisy weave, you can make jewelry out of it you can make crowns out of weaving just daisies and then for like the younger children or the ones that don't want to really want to do those type of crafts you can do more like paint type crafts and i'm going to show you what my daughter and then i put them together um did as well to get ready for a beltane and i know it's a few weeks away but hey i got finals coming up so i wanted to get this video out there now and then gives you guys uh, some time to prepare for ideas and look to the Pinterest and whatnot. So we did three flowers, three butterflies. I'll show the other butterflies later. And then three suns. Um, and what we did was we got at your like your local like hobby. Um, type store like Joanne Fabrics or what Michaels or whatever you have near you they have like these really big non-toxic paints and they're pretty cheap and you get that and then you can get some cheap shaving cream and some cheap glue and you mix it together and you can the paint will become kind of 3d and it's really hard to see in here it cracks a little bit if the child isn't doing like doing the full dabbing like my daughter is young so she's still kind of just making like doing however she feels like so it didn't turn out exactly the way that it should and it should be a little poofy and um, so 
then I cut them out and put them on construction paper and put some feathers on some and she made a little smiley face on the butterflies so they're a little messy and then like these there's some and then here's some more uh you can see some of the puffiness I think um and it cracked like I said it cracked a little bit because she is still young so don't take <laughs> this as the best example but it's a nice bonding thing and it also starts to get them in touch with nature and what is all going on for Beltane. So, um, you can, what I do is I find, um, like coloring pages online and print them off and then paint, have her paint them. And I have her paint since she's so young and just kind of doesn't go in lines anyways. I have her paint the side that doesn't have the outline and then I cut the back when I cut them out to follow the outline. But if you have older children that know to go within the lines, you can do it the other way. But really, the best things you can do are making wands and the crowns and oh my god, these are so perfect, especially if you're somebody that does have a child that has their own little altar. These are so cute. and. I mean, a lot of us now live in like urban settings or in apartments or in small houses. Like, we're not gonna either have the funds or the space to make a full maypole. So, it's a really good idea. So, um, I totally recommend it. If you have questions about it, uh, just put it in the comments. And that's all I have for crafts to do on Beltane. Um, like I said, I'm gonna put the pint Pinterest link below and it will have so many more ideas. I just think it's a great thing to do for your kids. And then um, my next video I'm going to be doing is going to be just on things that you can do on Beltane. Um, so you can check that out too even if you are somebody that just started following me because I was doing the Raising Pagan things because I'm going to be talking about making like sun bread and things like that. So there will be some family type oriented aspects to it. Also, heads up, it is Mercury Retrograde starting today, so be on a alarm for that. And then, also the full moon is coming up in a couple days, so um, have fun and stay wild. And the childs. <laughs> I, I love you all. Please like and subscribe. If you have not yet, share the video. And check out all my other videos. I do have videos on Mercury Retrograde if you want to check those out. My very, very first video I ever made was actually the last Mercury Retrograde in Taurus, which is what's going on right now, starting today. So I will link that in the box below as well so you can check that out so you know what to expect. So thank you for checking out my Raising Paying Kids video, the Beltane edition, and I'll see y'all next time. I love you and have a great week. Bye.